my people what's going on welcome back to the channel welcome back to saeed tv we are live for the late vibe show man you know what i'm saying too we're here bit of late vibes little casual chat about my united you know what i mean this one maybe for the for the ones that are night owls you know what i'm saying to maybe america this is a perfect show for you lot australia you're probably waking up in the morning so it's early vibes for you but yeah man big up to everyone who's locked in make sure you like the video you know what I mean? Let's get to 100 likes ASAP. And uh, yeah, man, big up to the guests. Ash in the building. Ash, how are you doing, man? I feel all good? Yeah, all good. Chilling. Life, life's easy. Do you know what I mean? Waiting for Premier League to be back. You know, these internationals are killing me. No interest in these games. I've got no yeah. ramifications, no meaning, no nothing. Do you know what I mean? You're seeing players. I'm, I'm just watching them, just hoping players don't get injured. Do you know what I mean? I'm seeing Col Colby Mayne who getting tackled and, I'm, I, you know, my, my heart's racing and yeah, all that. Yeah. And it's, it's, just, it's just one of those where just want to get through it now and get back to the, the proper football. Brentford away at the weekend and, and yeah, hope, hope you're doing well as always, Saeed and, and, and the boys in the chat and uh, Kaz and, and Griggs as well. So yeah, let's let's get into it. Yeah, man, absolutely, man. Big up to you, man. Listen, the chat's moving mad right now. Griggs, I don't know what happened, man. What happened today, man? Did anything happen today? Not the best of days. Um, Obviously, for anyone that was in my stream, I apologize for ending it right away. But if I, if I spoke, oh, to you, if I spoke after that quick. to shoot out, Rage I would have... I would have gotten cancelled if I said stuff after that. So I just I just turned it off for my yeah. anger that's testing me. Didn't make the Euros. It is what it is, but I appreciate everyone that tuned in and we move on. I just never want to see international football ever again. If I see another penalty shootout in my life, it'll be the last thing I do. I don't want to see penalties um, ever again. Ever, ever again. Bro, is your is your squad talented though? Is it your squad talented? No, it's not, but you know what it is, bro. Like when you haven't like made an international tournament in 10 years. Like, and the last time I remember my country in international tournament is literally losing on penalties to Costa Rica. I've hated Killer Navas for the last 10 years of my life because of that penalty shootout. It sucks. And losing to, a, no disrespect to Georgia, but they've never beaten us in like nine tries. So it hurts, but you know, it is what it is. And it would have been the 20 year anniversary of winning the Euros in 2004. So, yeah. Gee, man. Listen, man. So, uh, commiserations, man. Big up to you, man. Uh, Kaz, what are you telling me, man? You're chilling. Apple settings. What are you saying? Apples, green tea, taking a break from YouTube for a little sec, just uh, focus on Dean. Uh, don't really need to do much. I can't be bothered to... I was going to make entertainment for entertainment purposes, but I just said, nah, 
Uh, it, it can all rock and roll back tomorrow. All I know is that Kobe Miner is the best player in the world, and that's that, man. I don't hey, know if- <laughs> listen, you know what's mad? Yeah, Liverpool fans are messaging me saying, "Why isn't Elliot starting? Why isn't um, what's his name? The other one, Curtis Jones, brother." Let me tell you something, Liverpool fans. He's not better than Colby Mainu, yeah? Listen, there's levels to this, yeah? Man like Elliot is still doing trials in the under-21s, yeah? How about that? Curtis Jones, take time. You know what I was there? But you Liverpool fans that think, oh, but what about our players? Nobody cares. Because you know what? Colby Mainu's here. How about that? Yeah, how about that? You see the quality of Colby Milo, the best player in that midfield right there. You know, I'm trying to say to you, Jude Bellingham had a stinker. He got the goal in the end, but he had a stinker. Decker Rice, steady Eddie. You know what I'm saying to you? Nothing glamorous. It's a captain performance. But Colby Milo at 18 years old, and you're talking about Elliot, who's doing under-21 duty. Simmer down, simmer down. You know what I'm saying to you? That's what we say for you lot, yeah? Take time with it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, man, them. Big up to Lee Gunner for the raid as well. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just gassed we have Kobe Mino. I'm just gassed, yeah, that Carrington have produced a player, a baller. They produce a baller, man, them. They have produced a baller. Absolute baller, innit? Do you know what I mean? The composure, the silkiness, the calm, the cool. Got everything, innit? Do you know what I mean? The, the, the physicality. You know, it's, you know, it's his shot up in it. Do you know what I mean? Have you noticed he's, he's big yeah. now? He's like six foot. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I was looking, he, he was down as like five nine, uh, five nine last year and that. And you, I'm seeing him uh, compared to players in the midfield and stuff and, and seeing him uh, switch with Gallagher uh, in, in Brazil. And yeah, now he's, he's similar a height. You know, he's, look, he's looking big. He's looking composed. He's, you know, he looked the coolest on the field tonight, didn't he? Do you know what I mean? He was he was the man who changed everything with that little bit of a turn. You know, he, he kind of went back to he went went back to his midfield, uh, and then dropped a shoulder, turned round and f- fed through Bellingham. Bellingham gets it into Tony. Just magical. Now, what Henderson does in that in that position right yeah. there, he passes it back to back to one of the defenders, doesn't he? Do you know what I mean? Passes it back to one of the fullbacks or passes it sideward. Colby Minor, do you know what I mean? Just a little bit of magic, turns, spins. Beautiful ball into Bellingham, but I mean, I mean, pure class. What a silky footballer! Manchester's fine, finest, and, and we produce these these midfield ballers from time to time. You might Manchester, do you know what I mean? You see, it, you see it with Folded, you seen it with Scholes, you see it with Mino. Do you know what I mean? You, we, we, we've got like a little hobby of creating world class midfielders with that composure, that that unique that unique ability to keep the calm and kind of dictate the tempo of the midfield because that's what he was doing today as an eighteen year old. He was dictating the tempo of an inter- international game Mad- madness really on international debut as well can i add something yeah man if you don't mind can i add something can you not hear me yeah nice and fine yeah yeah, yeah. as a community we gotta keep posting every little moment to annoy these liverpool fans online every single little bit what about connor bradley no one cares you want him over trent anything connor bradley we need to keep posting to annoy them it might rattle them a little bit more because they can't, they just can't handle it. Man, like big up Ben, by the way. If people know Ben on the uh, online uh, through S, I think it's SMX Ben. He gets absolutely annoyed if he's in Liverpool. If he's not Liverpool, you know, it has to be about them. So let's make it about us a little bit. You know, um, they just can't handle that. Like Carrington's Ben and like AXA, you know, like AXA. It's just, it's just one of those things. Uh, we just got to keep retweeting, annoying, and going on every single account we can find and adding them as much as possible. Thank you. Where was me. Liverpool in that team today? Uh, Joe Gomez was getting done up by Doku. <laughs> I was embarrassing that first five, ten minutes coming on. Doku was just running rings around him. Mm. Bro, it's mad, man. It's mad, man. Shout out to everyone, man. But like I said, man, you uh-huh. know what I mean? I, we just got to protect him, man. Griggs, we got to protect this baller, man. He's he's going to be the face of my United, man. Whether people like it or not, he's ready, man. You know what I mean? He's yeah, I ready. Mean, I, Michael, I've been man. saying it, bro. Like, watching him live. Thankfully, I've got to see him live. Like, when he came for preseason in America, that was nice to see. And I could tell right away, bro. Like, obviously, just a preseason game, right? Like, it doesn't obviously have much say. But the Arsenal had their fr- their first team uh, midfield that day. It was Odegaard, Rice, and I think it was Havertz, right? So, against the likes of Declan Rice and Odegaard, who are in contention to be in the team of the season, he looked like he belonged with, with them out there. And, and now, even when he's played, like, against Liverpool, when... He sat Endo down, McAllister, all these guys. It was too easy for him. And, bro, he, I know he's just 18, but you can see a baller when you, you can spot a baller within like 10 minutes of seeing him. Like, you just know 
You know when someone's good. And with him, you could just tell. When a midfielder can play the game at his own pace and he dictates the tempo that he wants to play it at, that's a midfielder that has mm. the ceiling is the ceiling is the sky for him. And for me, you're right. He is for me the face of Manchester United. And that's why he's getting so much hate, right? You have the most popular club in the world, right? English football, Man United. We're the villains. Let's be serious. We're shit villains right now. But no matter what, we are the villains. They want to see us fail mm. no matter what. And he's going to be eventually that poster boy of Man United. Obviously, maybe you could say Marcus Rashford is right now, but Manu, the hype that he's getting, he's getting fast tracked. Don't he skipped two levels of English youth football to go right to the first team. Bro. South gave him the start today. In the morning on Twitter, they posted Manu when they're gassing up the game. They weren't posting Declan Rice, who got the captaincy today. They were posting Kobe Manu. They know who's going to be when the face of Man Bro, other than Juan Bissaka, I'm pretty sure every starter for Man United that's been English has been a crucial, have been, has been a pretty crucial part. For the English national team, maybe, maybe bar like Michael Carrick. Many, right? many he is. But, many is. Oh, it, it's like that's what it is. And he is now him. And for Megan that it, it's just about getting him the right midfield partner. Today, Amadou Nana is a potential partner. They look I'm obviously still, they played against each other. Uh, they played against each other. Uh, you can kind of see, you can kind of see how good they got bullied today. Game. Who do you play by? He got bullied by Kobe Mino, though. He wasn't getting bullied by... He was getting bullied by Kobe Mino. So, we're not on the same know, team. Man, man, get blah, blah, blah. It's a good feeling, though. Like, for the first time in how long, we got some a base to start off with in the, you know, to start off with at Man yeah. United again, to start again. And we got... You know what the matter of this thing is? There's one person that this, a lot of this chat don't really... Uh, not fond of at this moment of time. Some may agree or not, but... Neji was calling for this guy a time ago. Time yeah, yeah, yeah. Ago. No, I respect Neji for that. And... 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 and, and also, that account on Twitter. What's my man called him? Um, um, guy, Sam, Sam, his name's Sam, something Sam, Youth United, yeah, Youth United, United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. The thing is, we got a good crop of young ballers, and they can't all make it, but a lot of them are looking that good. Like, I'm like, we're talking levels, like, we're not talking about, ah, oh, they're gonna make it, maybe, maybe not. Like, they look, some of these youngs look levels, and it's just a good time, but it's just if they can develop under the right kind of regime, oh. you know. It, it, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. Next season, yeah, we'll see. That's not Southgate, please. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll find out now because there's some interesting news that come out today. Big up to everyone locked in. 740 of you in the building. Please hit the like button. Let's get to 300 likes ASAP. But there's some news regarding um, Gary O'Neill, man. I don't know where it's come from yet, but it's come from uh, Mark Ogden. Uh, take what you wish. Obviously, a lot of people don't rate Mark Ogden nowadays. What tier list is he? But Man United want to speak to Wolves manager Gary O'Neill about a role in a potential new coaching setup at Old Trafford. O'Neill has been made aware of United's interest with senior figures from club expressing a desire to discuss his intentions. I'm going to read your report first of all, yeah, so people can get the backstory on what he's talking about and whether, like I said to you, it has any relevance at all. He says, Man United want to speak to Wolverhampton Wanderers boss, head coach, sorry, Gary O'Neill about a role in a potential new coaching setup at Man United. Sources have told ESPN. With Jim Rackett's in your group in charge of football operations at United, following the completion of the purchase of 27% stake in the club in February, sources have said that the new regime led by India's director of sport, Sir Dim Brailsford, are attempting to build a new coaching structure led by a head coach. As, and while for, no final decision has been made on Eric Tanak's future as manager, sources have told ESPN that they have already assessed England manager Gareth Southgate, Brighton, Deserby, Brentford, Thomas Frank as potential successors. O'Neill's appointed Molly last year, blah, blah, blah. Uh, obviously talks about his job and whatnot. And sources have told ESPN that 40-year-old has made been made aware of the interest with senior figures, obviously talking about his club. Um, sources have confirmed United's interest in O'Neill to ESPN, although the role that, that may not be prepared to offer is not known. Aside from assessing managerial options, sources have said that United are looking at bolstering their entire coaching team. O'Neill signed a three-year contract last summer. Uh, former boss, uh, yeah, cool. My United declined to comment about the possibility of talks with O'Neill when approached by ESPN. It's a lot to take in, guys. But what are we saying? Like, does this have any, any kind of like grounds? Because you know what it is here. Let me say something. Mark Odden might not be, I would say, everyone's cup of tea. Yeah? But when uh, Ten Hag was appointed, yeah, he was at the forefront of the news. If you actually deep it, like he was the one that was getting most of the information at the time. When I remember when we were getting Eric Ten Hag. So I don't know. 
at the same time, everyone's saying that he's hating on United and he's making up stories and whatnot and it's not right, etc. I don't know, in it. This is why we're here. This is why the channel's here. We discuss the news. If it's clickbaity, then it's clickbait. If it's not, then we'll just talk about it, innit? But what are you saying, man? Everyone's saying reliable journalist. He's right. He gets most things right. I don't know. Ash, start off with you, man. Gary O'Neill, coaching staff, but then it kind of looks like United has started to get ahead coaching. Where are you with this, man? I don't know with Gary O'Neill. I mean, I like I like him as a manager. I don't think I don't think he's elite. I don't think he'll ever be an elite caliber coach. But I think I think as a yeah. manager, he'll have he'll have a career similar similar to like a a Roy Hodgson or yeah. a, a, a David Myers. I think he'll be a solid coach in the Premier League. You know, you look what he's done at, at Wolves and you look what he did at Bournemouth as well. A solid coach. Right. Now the question is, why would he want to move away from being the top man, being the main man, to go and being almost an assistant coach? Because there's no talk about him replacing Eric Ten Hag and. The one, th the one thing that I've, I've tried to like work through the reads on this one yeah. is like what what information can be extrapolated from this? What 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 can we learn from this? And what what I'm seeing, I'm, I'm noticing a pattern of of a style of play that we want that that potentially o Omar Barada and, and Ineos want want to play, and that's that's the three four three. You've seen that with the way Gary O'Neill plays. You see that with Nagelsmann. You see that with Potter. All these right. managers have got a, they've got this similar style of football. Do you know what I mean? So it's looking like potentially, if mm. these leaks are all the same, that that's the way we're going to be going and moving forward as a football club. Now, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of just having two in the midfield and, and, and playing that way with the wing backs. But that that that's that's I feel like the, the more important information to be gained from this because I can't see him taking over as, a, as the head manager. I can't see him even taking him over, taking over as, as an assistant. It'd be interesting. I think as a as an assistant, it'd be great because you look. We've got Steve McLaren there. Who? No offense to to Steve McLaren, but I mean the guys, mm. the guys. You know. It's, Football, football's past him. I mean, you, you see that in in the pre-match and, and and you see that on the training ground and you hear him and stuff and he he just sounds tired and old. I mean, so if you get someone like Gary O'Neill in as an assistant, yeah, that that'd be incredible. But I just can't I can't imagine that he'd want to leave the job like Wolves. You know, decent team. You know, uh, he, he's the main man there, and to give that up, I and mean, then where where's that put him for the rest of his career as well, moving on afterwards? So yeah, for me. I mean, it's kind of a non-starter, but what's interesting is the is the three four three philosophy that keeps being repeated with these managers and the potential mm -hmm. to move from that. And I'm I'm, I'm I'm I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of I'm I'm in both both uh, lanes with that one because it, it can be exciting, but also the midfield. I'm, I'm not too too uh, not a biggest fan of having just two in the midfield, especially with, with one on football. So I, I I I don't know what you boys are saying about Gary O'Neill, but for me for me I think it's I think it's a non-starter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, not I'm happening. Yeah, just the super not happening. Ogden making shit up. Um, listen, this is what we're here to to discuss, man. But yeah, go on, Cas. My bad. Uh, Greg, can you do? It? I'm just finished off my apple, man. Yeah, I think with obviously with every report, there's always kind of like some fuel to the fire. Not that's what happens with every report, right? There's always some like the littlest of truth. It might be one percent truth, but it's always there some kind of truth. Um, and if if we can somehow get Gary O'Neill in as a number two. That's perfect because he'll be like the best number two in world football. That's that's an incredible signing, right? And I kind of agree with Ash in terms of like, I, for me, a three four three is my favorite formation to watch in football when used properly. It has to be. It is a hard formation to utilize properly because you need a specific set of profiles to be able to execute it to the right standard. The best I can remember mm. in the Premier League is Antonio Conte in the 16-17 season when they won the Premier League. He used a three four three, mm. but he also had a magician, at Eden Hazard, right? Like we don't we don't have an Eden Hazard on the team. So we don't have it. We also don't have an Angolo Conte who can cap, who can cover every single acre of space on that pitch. So it is a difficult one. But I would like Gary O'Neill. Um, I also think that based on Ratcliffe's comments this past week, not comment the report that came out that he wants his coaching like he wants to like his whole coaching staff to be just coaching. Forget about transfers. Forget about everything on the upstairs. Let that be with the Omar Baradas, potentially mm. the Dan Ashworths, the Jason Wilcoxes, them dudes. Let them handle that. As a coach, your your priority is just being the coach. Make sure you know your patterns of play. You execute on the training ground, and what you do on the training ground, we see on the pitch on Saturday and Sunday. I think that's what Sir Jim wants to have with Megan United. I think Gary Neal would be a good start. I mean, the only thing I could reason I could think of him taking it is that if he becomes a successful, maybe number two at Megan United at a big club like that, maybe just because it's at Megan United, it might open up some doors for him at another club. But the fact that he's doing this good at mm -hmm. Wolves, I mean, like let's say. What's the top? Let's see a West Ham, right? David Moyes is gone. Right? Ten Hag. 
He he out coached Ten Hag uh, in the first game, and then obviously we we did well in the first half. To be fair, but then obviously United you know, nearly messed it up and that. So yeah, I, 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 mean, can't, I, I, I don't know if he's a better. He co- I don't know if he's a better coach, like really than Ten Hag. Like if now I'm talking about this season, really. And this season, I think I think Aaron knows. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like let's say West Ham, right? Let's say West Ham or even Newcastle, right? Let's say for example, they I don't think Newcastle because they might have, they have more money. But if West Ham sacked David Moyes at the end of the season. For me, Gary yeah, should yeah. be the number one. Should be the number one guy on their list. And if you're looking at West Ham, if you're Gary New, that's a club that can compete for European football on a yearly basis. You can lead them there, and that can be a better thing than you for um being Man United's number two. But I don't. Know. I like the I like the link in terms of him being like a number two. That'd be a top coach. I think I like his philosophy, and also he's also a, a big what's it called ambassador of just letting his players play, mm-hmm. like letting the game come instinct instinctively. You look at mm-hmm. Pedro Neto. We he was. Everyone's been raving about Neto all month. Mateusz Cunha, what he's done with him the past year, turning him into mm. an all-around player. Juan Ki Chan, what he's done with him. And because, uh, what's it called? Gary Neto did not take over some random manager. He took over Lopetegui, who was an established manager in Europe. He is well-respected among Europe. He won the uh, Europa League with Sevilla, I think, beating us. Mm. So he took over a hard job after getting sacked by Bournemouth un- like unju- unjustifiably. So he had a lot of pressure, and he's improved every Wolves attacker. And what we struggle right now is our, t- our attackers are struggling, right? Here you have a manager that you could maybe bring in as an assistant that can that has elevated attackers everywhere he's gone. Dom Solanke last year, that was the first real year that Dom Solanke thrived. And who was and who was the coach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he has a Bro. track record of improving attackers. And also, the f- I didn't know that he worked with Michael Edwards. Michael Edwards is a well-respected guy. The fact that Michael Edwards recruited him back then, that mean, and Michael Edwards used a lot of data. That means that there's something with Gary O'Neill that no one ever saw before Michael Edwards. So it's a good. It would be a good move. Uh, no, yo, man, you get me. It's mad, no. man. It's mad. You know what I'm saying no. to you. No. Uh, you know what it is, yeah. Yeah, no. go on, go on, cuz. Chat to no, me, got, chat to me. Are you excited? No, no. Like this is Man United. Like what? What are we doing? Like, I, I, I like. I like, nah, but don't you know what it is? I don't like that though, man. No, we're Man no, United, yeah, but no, at the no, same time, not. we ain't gonna get that glamorous manager you're all thinking of, you know. No, we're not gonna get about, that. It's not about a glamorous manager. The guy is at Wolves, his next level up is probably a Brighton, maybe they'll take him when the Zerbi leaves or something like that. That's that's the difference. It's like I like him, but yeah, you know, I like a lot of other players, I like a lot of managers, but don't mean I want them, you know. I like Anana, but do I want him at Man United? Hell no. So look, I, I think Gary O'Neill's got a lot of room room to grow in but i don't think that room is at man united to grow we don't mm. need that. okay we don't deserve that like how it's just because he out coached ten hog i mean most managers out coach ten hog this season does that mean mm. we go let's go get a bournemouth manager how about him he's got more credentials the difference is when you come out of that dugout at man united and and then all out the tunnel or whatever it is it's just different and i don't know just let him do his thing you know it's not but like you know it's though cuz I like league. the fact though that but I like the fact that though this this Ilios are looking at coaches though and they're looking at like making sure that we're a well coached team that has an identity. You know what I mean? I like that. Listen, I'm not saying I want Gary O'Neill and I'm just liking the ideologies behind what they're doing. They're not just getting a manager and then because it's his he's got a name and then looks at you know he's out of depth in terms of tactically in the Premier League. He needs help, bro. And listen, if this story has any base. The fact that Ten Hag needs help and he needs people around him, I mm. think it's a good thing, man. Because at the end of the day, if he is going to be here next season, which I hope not for me personally, if he is going to be here next season, then he needs some help. Steve McCarran ain't doing shit. You know what I mean, bro? Eric Ramsey's gone. I know he's a different sort of coach. That guy, Van der Gag, oh, wait, I mean, wait, listen, wait. man. Are we talking coaches or are we talking management? Coaching. The report oh, says coaching. Says coaching. <laughs> On the road, it says coaching. Bring him in. Bring him in. I I thought you talk about management. I thought it was management. I apologize to the whole chat. It made me look like a donut. I'm taking Gary O'Neill in a heartbeat. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Coach. <laughs> a coach. Yeah, you know what? How about we sat yeah, like Kara McKenna role? Kara yeah, McKenna role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know what? Yeah, this is I, I wouldn't mind that. You know, he looks like he knows what he's doing. That's where his credentials come from in the first place, anyways, was his coaching. So that's how you become a manager tip, typically. But I would take him as a coach. I think this uh Van, what's his name Van? I can't remember Van der Gang. Van, Van, Van der Gang. Gang. As a yeah, I don't know what I'm seeing on the pitch or the tr- like. So something must be not going on in the training that we don't agree with. Maybe it's a bit outdated or maybe it's just not suited to these sort of players. Yeah. I, I don't know. But yeah, we, it does need a but big. Without, without not undermining this manager though, like be honest, like guys, yeah, you know when um, listen, I don't know Ten Hag in it, but Broski, like he didn't bring him in it last year, and I don't think he wanted him. Would you not be undermined, yeah? 
if you got like help and that, say you got you you were told to do a job, yeah, and you, and and the owner said, "Yo, I'm gonna bring some backup man to help you out and that." Would Ten Hag feel like he's being undermined? You know what I'm saying in that regard? Yeah. Because then you, most you coaches, saying, like, don't, most coaches don't like like not having picked their assistant coaches. Most coaches pick their assistant coaches. They have a relationship yeah. with them at either a previous club where they play with them, they know them, like that kind of stuff. Mm. Like you wouldn't see at any other club. Like Pep always picks his assistants. Quap picks his assistants. Arteta has picked his assistants. Clubs don't typically pick their assistants. The managers bring them over and stuff like that. So the fact that Gary O'Neill might be the United are looking at coaches for the second may mean that they may be wanting. But either even even if like Ted Hawk goes, right? Let's say Nagelsman comes in. Nagelsman's not gonna want to bring in Gary O'Neill. He's gonna want to bring in yeah. his germ his guys from Leipzig and stuff like that, Bayern Munich, whoever the hell he worked with. So I don't know, it's an interesting one. I I I say this whole Man United thing. Just make sure you in like for Fajr or or if you haven't done a Isha, just just oh just make lots of dua, yeah, make lots of dua because we're gonna need Listen, lot of, man. We're gonna need a lot of like me. <laughs> this 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 summer's gonna be one of them where we're not gonna know. Like everything's just out of the blue, man. I think you know what it is though. These journalists don't like it that they 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 mm-hmm. they're not knowing what's going on. They don't like it, man. Mm-hmm. For once, yeah. I don't know. Maybe these guys are moving in silence. Ineos are, are not giving them any kind of hint. So what they're doing is they're covering all grounds. So they're thinking to themselves, you know what? We can get this manager to be linked. We've they've, we've seen every single manager being linked with United. So at the end of the day, they're just fishing for news because at the end of the day, like, yo, man, my United, what are we going to do? Because they can't <laughs> sell newspaper. You're not going to sell news on, on, on Man City. You know what I mean? Chelsea. My United sells news, man. Let's be honest. We we have the most clicks. Social media, you can't mess around with United. PR and all of that stuff, you can't mess around with United, man. So it's it's one of them where I'm just like this Mark Ogden. He either knows something or, bro, it's it's easy to be a journalist. I don't That's think what I'm saying. Actually, I, I think you're in agree. You've been in agreement. I think I've seen a couple of your tweets as well. Um, I don't think nobody knows nothing. Honestly, in your yeah, guess, yeah. it's guesswork. Mm. It is guesswork, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. We, nobody expected Brada, did they? Brada came out of nowhere, do you know what I mean? Like, nobody had that, no one had it clued. They were talking about all different kinds of uh, CEOs and stuff like that, and, and not one mentioned Omar Brada. So, so like what, what Saeed's saying there, it just feels like they're, they're just throwing mud until it sticks, to use an old, old cliche, do you know what I mean? And and the, this idea that the managers... And you know you know what? I, I, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking also... Gav Southgate, he, he's looking for a job at the end, end of the summer. A lot of these managers, may, maybe there's a little bit more to this Gary O'Neill story. Maybe, maybe he's thinking, well, I've, I've taken Wolves as far as I can. You know, they're not they're not big on the spending and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I'll try and get myself a little bit of maneuver or get myself in, into a bigger job. So th- 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 the potential for that to be happening. But at the moment, the journalists, they have no idea what's going on. I'm, I'm excited about it because because it means that any news that does, does break, it'll be almost a surprise to us. Like how hype we were yeah. with... Omar, that Omar Brada announcement Brada. Johnny came from nowhere and it just exploded. It was funny as well, Said. If we add a little bit more to that, no one knows what the update of Dan Ashworth is. They're just guessing it. There was another no. guy, Anil, whatever his name is. Uh, I can't. I don't know what his name is. Um, he's all talks. Yeah, sometimes. no, 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 man. Like, like, you're, you're mm. doing everything. And then uh, it was only on. Um, didn't what's his name? David Ornstein. He made a. Mm. He done a podcast and he's like, yeah, I wouldn't. I would rule. Uh, my man out. Uh, what's it called Dan Ashworth? He's not looking likely. And then before you know it, like a few days what? later. Don't you remember? Oh. He's looking because he went through all the different um, options. He went, and the third one was there on his podcast. It's like, yeah, it's looking unlikely. This, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. And then a few days later, literally broke out <laughs> David Austin again that we made an approach. And it's like, oh, wow. So you didn't know. Even the big don't. Uh, the big man himself didn't know. Well, David honestly didn't know about the, um, the, 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 the Omar Barada one. No, nah, he didn't know. Just... He said it on his, he said it. He said it. I didn't know. Nobody knew. He came out of the woodwork. Nobody knew. You know Jason what I'm saying? Wilcox, Jason Wilcox, that came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want how professional they're moving? No, do you know what I mean? They're moving in silence. There's, there's no messing about. They're moving in stealth. And that's yeah. what you want from a proper organization. You don't want leaks everywhere. Do you know what I mean? We've seen that up from Old Trafford the past 10, 10 plus years that these leaks coming out over and over again. And they're all, all, already knowing who we're signing and what we're doing months before it ever happens. Do you know what I mean? Whereas at the moment, we're just being surprised by everything. And I'm excited to see, see it kind of 
everything come to fruition toward the end of the season. What happens with Tanag? That's going to be interesting in itself. But I feel like he's gone. Do you know what I mean? I can't. I can't imagine Tanag staying now. You know, this, there was leaks today, or they weren't leaks because, like I said, we don't know about leaks. But there was talks today that potentially he's got the rest of the season to save his job. But I, I just, I can't, I can't, I really can't see him staying, especially with, with the performance he's been putting in with, with his team and no style of play. And I feel like they're probably doing the groundwork, the legwork behind behind the scenes. And it'll just be one of them that'll come out of nowhere that we're, that that we've, you know, he's gone and we've got another manager. So it's, it's going to be it's going to be an exciting mm-hmm. summer on on all parts in regards to players, staff, manager, everything. Really, it's going to be a, a summer of upheaval. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like the Ashworth negotiation has to be done sooner rather than later. I'll, I'll just play. It. I've said it, man. I said it on Monday. I said, listen, man, 20 million, broski, like, come on, man. You, 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 nah, you, you can't pay 20 million money. for a director of football. That's crazy. Oh, come on, man. That's crazy. Broski. Bro, bro, listen, listen to me. Griggs, yeah, let me tell you something, yeah. If you're going <laughs> to save money later on, yeah, from that's the, not about saving money. The, it's not about the saving money. It's about like keeping like face, bro. You can't just give in to Newcastle and just pay 20 mil for the director of football. That's being weak. Oh, but that's the release clause, though. That's the release clause, man. Nah, tell them, you know bro. They 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 have they're paying him to just sit on his couch. They they have to go get a new director of football too. So we just can't just give them their money so they can go get a new director of football. And okay, we just okay. and next bro, what, next what, time, what happens means... if we don't give it now, right? If we don't give in and we end up winning this battle, one next time Newcastle want to come get if they want to come buy one of our players, we're gonna charge extra too because they want to play this game. Because it's not just it's not a player that we're talking about. It's an executive that wants to leave your football club, City. Who is the biggest club? Who is the most successful club in the country right now in terms of the recent history? They let Omar Barada go with nothing. They're like, you don't want to be here. You want to take the next job, bro. Have your peace and go. It's calm. You just have to wait till the summer. Newcastle want to play hardball. So if they want to play hardball and they want to act like one of the big dogs, then you have to come fight with the big dogs. Let's see what happens. We can't give in to them. We've given in to every single club in the past decade. That's why we're in a situation now where we pay tax on every single little thing that we do. We have to change that. And Ineos, that's their, that's their first job, is to stop being weak in negotiations. We can't give Vince into, into what every club wants. Otherwise, that's how you become weak in negotiation. That's how business works. So for me, you never have to be have okay, to show okay. your strength here. Yeah, 20 minutes my my thing is that, okay, cool, cool, cool. My thing is, yeah, all right, cool. If you're going to negotiate, yeah, cool. You know what I'm saying to you? But if there's an element of risk, yeah, for me personally, pay the money. Because at the end of the day, it's one of them where we're going to miss out on a guy who's got good credentials or which i've said before numerous times move on then and go and get someone else i.e what's the guy man paul mitchell i.e another another person that could come in go and get someone else then you know what i'm saying because i'm sick and tired of us dilly dallying around here spending the whole summer you know this could i don't know maybe it could be the whole summer where we're we're negotiating with newcastle i don't know you know i mean newcastle might just be like f it he screwed us over We'll let him stay out for another million. year. We'll pay him another year. So I'm just like, make a decision. You either do it or you don't. You either negotiate or you don't. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, I just want to know if there's an idea behind it. Because Broski is going to be one of them where we ain't got time to be messing around this summer. Everyone's going to be dog eat dog. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be messing around with paying my man at 15. So, okay, 50. Say we get it for 15 million. Was it worth negotiating five million and spending the whole summer and losing out in? Yeah, one but or two not getting Ashworth doesn't affect our summer though. We we're still gonna go get our targets. We still have the list. The, the list is not gonna change regardless of Dan Ashworth comes or not. The, the summer million, list is the same. Fifteen million. I I say, can he play DM? Fifteen yeah, million. Yeah, but yo, you know what I can get you with fifteen million? It has to be for me ten mil. For me, it has to be ten mil. That has to be the sweet spot. <laughs> nah, it's ten mil. Bro. It's ten mil. It's ten mil or nothing. Yeah, you pay two million for him. Or something like that for on Brian, you know. Nah, you uh, no, Newcastle, New, Newcastle, Newcastle, Newcastle paid ten million for him, didn't they? Newcastle paid oh, no. paid around about what was it, eight million or something like that for him. They they to get to yeah. get him out of Brighton, they had to pay that. So it, it is understandable that he's gonna if he is gonna cost a fee if in but case my United though. Then there's exactly. my United Newcastle. Yeah, then there's my United. Exactly. So, 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 you, so you're going to pay an inflated fee. That that's just natural to happen, and especially a man that's going to potentially, you know, be the be the uh, forefront of the, the club's uh, regeneration and kind of, you know, just a, a new start of a new era. For for me, the way I'm looking at it, though, is I feel like if if that money, if that twenty million clause was there, I think we'd have gone and paid that by now. I think we'd have done it. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're doing something else behind the scenes that 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 that, that we're not aware of. Maybe an Andrea Berti at Let's Call Madrid. Do you know what I mean? Or like like Paul Mitchell. I mean Paul Mitchell's free right now, isn't he? But 
it's it's one of those where I'm not too sure Ashworth is the man. I feel like he keeps getting pushed out, pushed out, but I feel like we'd, we'd hear more. We'd hear more talk. We'd hear more frustration from his side that, he, you know, he wants to move. He's desperate for the move and stuff, but we're, we're not hearing anything pretty much from, from, well, from any side from Newcastle. He's, he's on gardening leave. He's not working for the club no more. They're just paying him yeah. to be on his couch. It's pretty much it. And also, Newcastle <laughs> paid only four mil for him. They want us to get them out of FFP. They, they, they have to sell Isaac this summer or one of their big stars to, to get back into cooperation with FFP. If we pay 20 mil for Ashworth, they get out of that. So I'm not going to help a club that are going to be maybe oh, competing man. with us for top four. Bro, it's not your money, man. Why are you going to ask your money, man? <laughs> No, 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 I'm not helping. No, 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 no. This is this is this is business at the end of the day. This is the Premier League, bro. This is the top flight. This is the top flight league in the world. I'm not gonna help another club get out of their financial. Same way we help Chelsea out of their financial. No, no, no one cares about like Newcastle. Sixty-five mil. We gave, bro, Ma not, we gave Mason they, they, out fifty-five mil, they, and Chelsea got out of their their financial trouble for the short term because we paid them fifty-five mil for Mason out because we want because we we ended up helping them out. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, they I want twenty mil for a director of football. You know what I can get? I, twenty mil can get me a, a fullback that can replace Luke Shaw. It can get, get me Manu Manu there to partner with Kobe Manu. Yeah, Manu Kone. Crazy 17 million. How about that? No, Manu Kone. Is that still 2024 hype? Yeah, Manu Kone. Is, is 24 I, still Manu Kone? That's I, summer 2021, man. What's going on, Kaz? Man? You need to update yourself, man. It's not about What's going that? on? The best part about it is when they got no hype around, the cheaper they are. The more hype it is around, the more pressure there is. And then obviously other clubs come in. you got to get these deals through. I don't. Last thing I checked, there's more hype over for the South American kids over most guys over in the Bundesliga these days. They're good deals. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Cool. To be fair, how, yeah, much, how much money is Dan Ashworth going to save you though when he comes in? I mean, you got to look at it from that point of view. So you may be paying that, that twenty million, actually, but maybe he's he's going to save you that, save you that money. Do you know what I mean? So with, yeah. with his with his ability with his uh, scouting and and kind of his his, his relationships with other Invest clubs and stuff like that. So yeah. Investment people. That's what it's about. I would only give personally, I'd give 12 million. If it was me, 12 million max, I think that's fair, isn't it? I think that's the highest that Man United should go. Anything beyond that is ridiculous. Get it are done. Get under, him in the club and let's move. Are we under FFP restrictions this summer? I, I always keep hearing things about FFP this summer. Are we what? under any sort of FFP restrictions this summer? Because, broski, the amount of people are spouting that nonsense about FFP and all of that. Like, are we under any sort of FFP restrictions this summer? You know what I, mean? I know no. that 20 million will I'm not listen, if we pay that 20 million, that's not gonna help, is it? You know what I mean? I get that, but are we under any any FFP restrictions? I don't know. Not getting Champions League football will massively hinder our our budget. Mm. I believe so, maybe. But you know, I want to know the chat. Let me know if there's any rumors or whatnot. But well, you get what I'm trying to say. It's, apparently, it's... Radcliffe's like uh what's it called? The 200 mil investment that was part of the contract of him when he signed for the 25 percent. That apparently that got us back into the green for the time being. Mm. So that allows us that, that allows us an extra hundred million, which can also be amortized over the next four seasons. And if you've got a player like if you sell someone like McTominay or you sell Rashford, mm -hmm. then then you, you potentially you, you're able to spend three, four hundred million this, this summer. Do you know what I mean? Because oh, you're yeah. not paying that yeah. you're not paying the the, the three hundred million in one goal, you're paying it in, in little twenty million uh, like down payments, do you know what I mean? So so we, we got lo we got loads of money to spend. We we we're we're fine with spending spending money in the summer. No, there's, there's there's no issue there. This all this idea of like mm. FFP and kind of restrictions. It's the same same news that we've been hearing that Manchester United might be barred from competition in Champions League. Do you know what I mean like that nonsense yeah, coming out oh, recently? Yeah. When, when Salzburg and Red, Red Bull were in this competition in the same season. Do you know what I mean Red Isn't Bull, it? Salzburg? You know it's it's nonsense. Do you know what I mean and they had to move around. The, the only issue United have now is I think the interest for the debt that they own for cl to clubs for transfers finally kicks in this summer yeah, because like COVID. Like, yeah, we paid off. Yeah, so we got to pay off that now. We paid what? I think a, f a third of our credit line off that 330 million. I think in each season you can make a 60 million loss. So you can plus, but you can put 60 million on top of that. Yeah, I think we'll we'll be all right. And and I think a lot of it will depend on sales. And I think we should be depending on sales. We need to be getting rid of people, wages, yeah, people. Yeah. Yeah. Because but, but listen, getting rid. According to traps, we've got to keep McTominay. You know what I mean? So we love it. You gotta give that up. I did the show with him on Sunday. Bro, you gotta give traps, up. man. This is you, man. This is your fault. But it's listen, looking like he could be staying. Discuss... Yeah, yeah. No. The, 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 the rumors have been coming out. Why? Did he play Why? for Scotland tonight? Did he play for Scotland tonight? I didn't oh, see. Anybody know? I don't know. I can check. Yeah, bro. man. You know what I mean? Let's see if he got his value up, man. Got a goal or something, man. But listen, he I want to got a 7.0. <laughs> <laughs> bro, listen. Yeah, <laughs> man. 
<laughs> you want yeah. all his duels. We leave him with something, maybe. I guess we're in terms yeah, of yeah, we leave with something, man. We leave with something. Listen, people, 840 of you in the building. Let's get up to 400 likes. I think we're not even on 300 likes, so please hit the like button if you can. And we're going to talk about Ivan Tony, man. I don't know if you guys watched him today, but I thought it was quality tonight. Very, very good. Um, number nine striker. But basically, Fabrizio Romano has declared uh, as the ones to watch in the title race for Ivan Tony. Uh, Romano confirms an other deal to sign striker are very much underway at Old Trafford. Is the 70 million Brentford striker they the, the striker they need though? 70 million, Ivan Tony, 28 years old, in the peak of his career. I thought he was quality tonight. Hold up play. I thought he was quick. You know what I mean? I thought he was good, man. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, got the goal as well. Penalty. Yeah, man. Ivan Tony, quality, quality. You know what you're going to get with Ivan Tony? Strong, physical, in his peak. You know what I mean? Could be good competition for Hoyland as well. May even start. I don't know. But what are we saying, guys, man? Um, I'll start with you, uh, Kaz, on this one. Ivan Tony. I'm telling you now. It's international break. You need a few clicks. <clears throat> uh yeah, there you go, Fabrizio. What do you add in? Man United. Nah, come on, man. Fabrizio, Fabrizio's on it, man. Yeah, but he is leaving though. When he's, he, Kaz, that's the thing. He is Tony is going somewhere in the summer. We're all aware of that. So he so he yeah. is moving. He ain't coming to Man United, man. Let's be honest. We got we gotta do other stuff. Like we put a 72 million euro investment into a Hoyland yeah. Don't get me wrong. Bro, that's one striker, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bro, it's not we need two strikers in the summer. One thing we don't know, yeah. One thing we don't know is how much budget we got. Two, we need like two potential centre backs. We need a new left back. We need a DM, and we probably need yeah, a we'll right talk about left back. Soon. So where's that seventy million coming from that they want? They want sixty to seventy million. I heard last time they wanted a hundred million in, in January. So where are we getting that? Nah, they let won't me, get hundred million. Let me let me know. No, I, I, listen. I don't think. Um... They, 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 they're gonna get 100 million. It's gonna be around 70 million, Mark. It's got one where year we, left on his deal. Where are we getting that from, Said? Where are we getting 70 million? Bro, listen, man. Ineos. <laughs> Ineos hype. Yeah. Ineos nah, will oh. fix it. You better have the guys. Oh. You better have got told me. I got, I, listen, million. I had the unlimited funds. I had Jake Jasim. I had, I had the unlimited funds. So I now I'm back in this process. I'm back in the shape. This is Ineos. And they, they've got the funds. So don't listen, you, don't, you, don't everyone here agree that we should be we should not be going in and around the deals of around 70 million for players. Are we not? Don't get me wrong. Oh, okay, okay. Not, not, for, not, okay. not for that position, not for that position. Not, exactly, not for that position. Maybe in a DM position, I can agree on that part. But uh -huh. every, we need we need other places. I like Tony, right? He's a baller. But for me, it's just not what we need right now and how much funds we, we need to know of what we can maneuver with as fans really and truly. And I think I want to see other positions coming before striker, personally, because our back line mm. can't even play out from the back unless we got Martinez. And last time I checked, we're playing a flipping Casemiro or Scott McFraud in DM next to flipping Kobe. We need, we got, uh, you know, as Robbie says, bigger fish to fry it, innit? That's in my, that's what I think. Bro, oh, man, they know bigger um, fish to fry, man. When you, when you need to be a good team, yeah, you need, you need positions. Sorting out. Big up to Lee Gunner, man. For a team that dominates position is perfect and all that the ball, link up plays, passes, man underrated, scores all types of guns and runs the channel, top baller. My thing is, right, you're going to need a striker. Broski, I'm done with this Benjamin Sesco and all of this, you know what I mean, youth products and that. What about being a striker who's ready? 28. Why mm -hmm. do people look down on strikers that are in their peak? It's like they're too, they're old. They they passed their best. We always want this young. We've already got our young up and coming talent, but now it's Benjamin Sesco. Get this latest talent. I'm like, I'm tired. Just go get me. It's crap. It's crap. Listen, though, Said, how much did Hoyland cost us? Do you know what I mean? Hoyland his first year, he cost us 60, 70 million. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. this idea yeah. that we can go and get other strikers, other young strikers for like cheap 30, 40 million, that's madness. That's not happening. For, for the calibre of quality that, that Tony's going to bring to your team, proven calibre in the Premier League, you know what he's about. Yeah. You know what he's going to bring to the team. If, if you can pick him up for our 70 million, it'd be madness not to do the deal. Do you know what I mean? Get, you, you get oh. him in. You, yeah, nah, you help him, you help him bring along... Uh, 
at Hoyland because Hoyland with himself, you've seen this season, he's already, he came in with injuries, with back injuries. He's had a few muscle strains and stuff. And when you start getting those injuries early on in your career, that's, it's never good for the long term mm -hmm. as well. So you can't rely on him next season to, to play all season. So we, we're going to need a decent striker. And whether you go for some uh, unknown kid in Europe, again, who's going to still cost us mega, mega money anyway. Do you know what I mean? Why not go for someone who's proven, whose injury record's pretty impeccable, impeccable do you know what I mean? And, and he's going to guarantee at least 20 goals, at least 15 goals a season. So, yeah, nah, to, to, Tony, for me, uh, he, he's got to be done. And you talk about funds as well. The idea of funds, you, you sell McTominay. What we sell him McTominay for? 40 million at least. No chance. We've got, we get, we're getting 40 mil. We're getting 40 mil yeah. for McTominay. Uh, 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 you, 25 to 30, 25 you know, to 30. You know what it is, Ash? It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not about, I reckon we probably have about 150 to 200 play within it, right? That's what I reckon it will okay. be, regardless. I just don't believe in this club at this moment of time that's giving me any source to believe that we actually can sell these we players. We don't need wingers. Okay, we don't need wingers. We don't yeah, need what? wingers, right? What? what? Excuse, excuse me? When you're left wing. Aaron, you know I We employ wingers. Bro, listen, Sancho's coming back. That's a new player right there. You got Ahmad. You got Ahmad. You got Sancho. Bro, why are you laughing? We got Sancho coming back. Bro, Sancho. Yeah, bro. We're seeing. No, that's calm, bro. That's calm. That's calm. We're seeing. Let me get ready. Just specifically, Ash. We're ready. My life changed. Ash said, "We're ready." Ash said, "Go, cuz. Go, cuz." Ash, <laughs> Ash said, yeah, 15 nah, listen, to 20. Listen, listen. Whoa, uh, he said 15 to 20 goals. Who's creating for this guy? Let me know. Is it Bruno Fernandes? <laughs> I'd, rather, no, no, no. I'd, rather, I'd rather buy two <laughs> midfielders, man, than go get a wingo. I'd rather buy two midfielders than go get a wingo. Yeah, I'm sorry. Field, go get I'm me saying. two midfielders. Who's two midfielders, house? left back. Hold on. Two midfielders, go. left back, centre back, and a striker. You that's see the that there? That's four. Yeah, that's the last position. We should look at all these other areas before we look at, oh, at the striker. What's the last position? position? Striker's the last position for me. You're going into the season with, with just Highland. No, 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 we've we got no Marshall. Do you know what I mean? What, we do need a backup. On the team? All right, respectfully, I didn't say going into the season. If we want to get our targets, we should be doing it now. So we should get a lot of these players in. But I'm talking that 70 million should be going from sales. I like to, I like what uh, Ivan Tony brings, right? But for that big price tag, what I'm trying to say is we've got all these other positions to focus. We might have two centre backs by the summer. We have to go focus on that. You know, whether it's Tadebo, Yoro, or whoever. I agree. I agree. That, that should be the main. That should be the main. Yeah, centre backs is, has to be the main. We have Lindelof at left back, or if not Wambasaka, and we need to focus on that. We need a DM as clear as day. We need a DM. So the last thing I say is like, the last position, let's just wait for sales and see what can go through because we don't do that as a club. And then, mate, if Tony's still available, which he might, then I would say go again. But when I said, Ash, 15 to 20 goals, right now with the squad, we're not getting 15 to 20 goals at no striker in the Premier League because we don't create. We, we barely do anything right. And that's what I say, get midfielders. Yeah, that's this manager, though, do you know what I mean? This, yeah, this no. manager's not been able to create oh. create for these players. Do you know what I mean? He's not been able to. You saw the you saw the goal output that we had last season. You see the goal we have, output we have this season with a different manager. You, you get the, you get some of these players creating a little bit more and play, playing better. I think I think what's interesting is the sales. What we're, are we are we going to sell Sancho? We're going to Greenwood's going to be gone. So there there's money. Um, Tom yeah, Maguire. Those those yeah. are players. Are we, we going to cash in on Lindelof? I know we, we we signed his extension and stuff. What's happening with Wan Bissaka? He's potentially looking like he's on his way out. Do you know what I mean? Get 15, 20 million, yeah. hopefully for him. So so there's, there's, a, there's a lot of players. Yeah, news Casemiro. Today Casemiro today. What's that? What's that? Some news about uh, Saudi Arabia. Casemiro mm. today. Oh, Ramis, Ramis, you need another right back. It's the same kind of thing, but maybe there's someone in the youth that can potentially fill in. I would like to see some more youth players actually getting a chance as well. This we got some real ballers, man. Where's Gerardo at? Where's Gerardo? He's in Spain. He's good. He gone. He left. He left. He left. Yeah, he right. left. Yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, left. I think he's all right. So we we signed Tony right this summer. That's 140 mil in the past for the, the past couple of seasons for a striker. Then why didn't you just go get Harry Kane last year? Why don't you just go pay off for Harry? Yeah, we should have. You're gonna commit, Kane, if you're gonna commit 140 M's on a striker. If you're gonna commit 140 M's on a striker, why not just go sign Harry Kane and then go sign another guy in a free? And there's your two strikers. Oh, you signed Hoyland yeah. for the first time in a decade. United have the striker position in terms of the starter figured out. We have our young guy. We can build around him as striker. Go get him his veteran on a good deal, like on a cheap deal. Go find a good vet for like about 20, 30 mil, and have him be the backup striker. Uh, well, 70 mil when you need. And we need a top DM. 
We need, we need two, a, at least yeah. two top center backs. Two top center backs, not just one top center back. I need two top center backs because I can't depend on Lissandra Martinez to stay fit next year. So if you, if you, right. so we have that right. Varane's most likely leaving. I don't think he's getting extended. So you're you're gonna you're losing your yeah. best defender. Your 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 other best center back is injury prone, and then your backup center backs are what? Kwambwala, who's unproven. Johnny Evans is retiring. Lindelof is hopefully getting sold. Maguire's hopefully getting sold. So where are your where are your center backs gonna come from? Reese Bennett is gonna come back from loan and be my savior or something. Oh, no disrespect to the but like we need some top center backs, in my yeah. opinion. These are Nando's can't get into the Benfica team, by the way. He's not playing for I Benfica. Don't they don't like him over there. They do not like him over there. Why, why, what happened? What happened? He's just, I mean, not getting into the team. This is why I hate United and stuff like that. They got to stop sending these kids out to Portugal and Spain and all. Yo, just send them to the championship. Let them develop in England. 100%. And you're the first thing. You just let him handle, bro. No, I'm look sure. at Mark. I agree, Greg. Look I'm at sure. If we hit up, if we hit up Kieran McKenna and told him you could have Alvaro Fernandez, the guy yo, mm. Kieran McKenna was willing to take Brandon Williams on loan. He would definitely take Alvaro Fernandez on loan and let him cook exactly. over there. Instead, we said Hannibal too. But this is more Hannibal's fault because he wanted Sevilla. He wanted the sunshine in Spain. Bro, go to France and go play over there. Handle that. I said go to France. Oh, yeah. Everton. Oh, Everton. Remember physical, Everton wanted him. The physical, it's French Championship. Guys, the physical, physical development. Oh. Portugal and Benfica, by the way, the, you send them to a club that are kind of on the downfall right now. They're not top of the Portuguese league. In Europe, top, they yeah, struggled exactly. against Rangers. They, you got to stop sending people. We sent Alma to Scotland to go, to the Rangers. They hated the absolute shit. They hated him. Yeah. He wasn't good enough for Rangers. He went to the championship and he ended up being the young player of the season or, in, or he was a contender. Oh, was that that he was doing good though. For, for who is it? Was it uh, Granada or who, is it Granada? Yeah, Granada, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So he's doing well in, but, in a great quality. Oh, I, I don't understand. I think we can do But, but even um, it's even the Donny van der Beek one, the Donny van der Beek one as well, he's not doing well at um, Frankfurt. Just, like, Apparently, they, they don't want to play the, the, the release clause for him as well. So, bro, well, see, we got some, hey, we got some predicaments going to do, on. Huh? They just got to do us a discount and take him back for like 10 mil and call it a day. That's what they got to do. Uh, they, give five, they give him 5 million. <laughs> take, take Ten Hag as well. Take Ten Hag. Take Donny van der Beek and take Hansen. Do you know what I mean? Hag, That'll be the they, one. They, they, they oh, can take other Dutch people. Like, I don't care. You imagine we give them a hundred plus the, whatever fees for Ten Hag just to get back what about money? Nah, that's sad, million. man. That's a you sad. Know, I'm, I'm so sad about Donny van der Beek, man. You know, I swear, man. This guy oh, was a baller Ajax here. Bad hype, and we sad ruined hype. him, man. No, yeah, nah, nah, bro, no. Nah, hype, catfish. Man. No, no, no! You man didn't watch that it. That one game no, against no, no, Madrid, no, no. I, I, I mean, I, that's all it was. Yo, we've done worse things that we should be sad about than not mm. ruining nah, Danny. You know what it is, yeah. I, I think for me, I would rather take that sort of player than Bruno Fernandez. But I'm sorry, 100%. I'd rather have that player yeah, that just is technical, makes the team better. Look at the way he always like. Giving the ball, like, give that a goal. Like, he needed that sort of player, man. He bulked up his physicalities, and he still didn't get a chance. Bro, ski man, I'm just sad man, because that's the sort of player every year we ruin. Henry Mkhitaryan, Kagawa, Donny Van der Beek. Yeah, we should take the hit. Those guys don't football. work at Man United ever. Those guys do not work at Man United ever. So we should stop signing them. They could be ballers somewhere else. But this is what I believe in clubs. Certain clubs, certain players just can't work. They could be the best player in the world, but they can go to a certain club and it will not work. Same way, like, you can go take a Barcelona player, right? You put him in Madrid, they're not going to look good. Yeah. It's, it's completely different. And those likes of Donny van der Beek, the little space uh, invaders, as they like to call them, bro, at Man United, you need to be a PNP guy, either that or you have to be the highest level technician, which Donny van der Beek is neither. He's not a high level technician. He's okay technically, and he also does not have much pace and power. He's not, he does you know not say, like, cameos were yeah. good, his cameo, but his cameos were good, like, and he still didn't get a chance. This is what I mean. How you, this, is what I, this is what I say on, I've said on this before, say, I don't get onto Amrabat. I don't get onto certain players because they don't ever get a run against uh, the really the traps. Games. I don't care what we, we talk about Donny van der Beek. Come on, boys, let's move on from this. Do you know what I mean? I mean, Donny van der Beek's dead, he's gone. Do you know what I mean? He's done. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a theme in it, though, with our players. You know what I mean? Yeah, Even if it's, it's Mason Mount signing, man, when you deep it, like, has anyone is, got aspirations for Mason Mount? What's the point? You know? he's, he's a right wing. You know what? There you go. There's your right winger, Mason Mount. He's not even a central midfielder. He's better on the right. Yeah, I'm all right with him on the right. Wing fielder, whatever. Side, side yeah, doesn't love that word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a wing fielder, bro. We signed too many of those. We need to stop signing them. Thanks yeah, for another one. Bro, bro. Anthony, that's another one. You see Anthony when he pops in centrally. He looks like a semi-capable footballer. Let's not give him too much color. Oh, he looks semi-decent. Listen, listen, boys. You're all missing out. Do you know what I mean? Mason Mount's going to be going to be our Modric. 
I'm telling you, listen, Modric at Zagreb at the same age, Tottenham played out wide. Do you know what I mean? I'm telling you, he's going to move into the middle. That, that ability on the ball, that, that that kind of energy, that work rate. I'm telling you, I'm calling it now. Do you know what I mean? You wait, boys. You wait. You see, Mason Mount's going to do bits for us. He's going to do bits. Bro, listen, man. He's going to do bits in, in, I don't know, man, at some other club, man. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't no, he ain't no whoever that you said, you know what I'm saying to you. Now he's joking, guys. He's joking. He's joking, man. But listen, yeah, I feel like for me, man, I'm just kind of like, yo, the striker market is dead. Ivan Tony, 70 million, or you're also going to buy Benjamin Sesco. You're going to go and buy Josh Rizzucci. Who else is out there? Bologna. So? It's more of a link up striker, though. Oh, yeah. Who's, yeah, yeah so you want, so you want Ivan Tony? I, I got you Ivan Tony from Italy for 30 mil less. There you go. Yeah, you know what? You're not you're not even wrong there, but it just it just don't make sense to get another young striker with another young striker. I, you, yeah, you, man. I, Charles I, Arant, man. man. Tony's the truth, man. Tony Tell him again, man. Tony's the truth. Tony is good. Yeah, Tony's the one. What about the Gyoka Reza at Spartan who's been banging in goals? Bro, listen, man. I'm not with that, man. I lie. I'm not with that, man. Arsenal's going to grab him, you know. I think they're going to grab him. Bro, let he's them clunky grab though. Him. He's, he's a bit big. Him, he's a bit. He's a bit clunky. Scoring goals, but I, I'm not sure. Right. Not sure that translates to the Premier League. I love his celebration. Height, done in the championship. Mm. Done it in. Nah, the... he was cool. Nah, he was cool for commentary. I think he's for him, seen. you need to bring him to a team that already creates chances. That are that are already ready. They're a tailor made for him. We're not that at that level yet. So and he's not like the Holland, Portuguese right? Portuguese league. If Amarim goes to if Amarim goes to what's it called to Liverpool, they Liverpool. might need they might look at a number nine potentially for the spearhead. Yeah, true. They have Darwin. But, but um, the, yeah, they have they have the more athletic version of Gilkers though in Darwin Nunez. But he plays on the left more. He's not known. Well, I don't know. It could all change. Yeah. It'll change. Yeah. Now nah, listen. I'm you know not, what it is. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Jimenez. I'm not gonna lie. From final, I think he's Jimenez. all right. I've not really seen him play to be honest with you. That I like that Muniz at, at Fulham. He's he's looking decent. That Muniz at Fulham. Yeah, that's, that's a good profile. But they just signed him, so I can only imagine he'll go he's for a, him. Yeah, he, yeah. He's another one. It's on a. It's on a bit. Of I want to see a little like, bit more from him. Yeah, I want to see man. just a flash I, in the listen, pan. Or if he's legit. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it's not Tony, go and get me this brother here. If it's not Tony, I want you know what I mean? to tell. Oh my word! Why would he want to stay there? Why would you want to stay after two seasons? Come, come, that's a Man United player. That's a Man United that player. There will get everyone on the edge of their seat, man. That's Obvious. what you call a bad boy striker, man. Right there. But Obvious. again, Newcastle will, will will make sure they do not sell him because if they sell him, I think the fan base will just riot, man. I think they'll want the board out. I think they'll want the board out. They'll be like, "Yo, Saudi out, man." You know what I'm saying to you? yo? They'll be like, "Yo, Saudi out. We don't want you anymore." He's got to a- sell our best player. But Give again, he's he's, to, yeah, I mean, his injuries are very, bad still. I can't. He is very injury prone, though. Mm. Don't forget that. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very injury prone. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So I like Dan, you know, I like Dunn. You want to say? <laughs> I, I big up Dunn, man. Mudrick today, man. Yo, shout out to Dunn, man. You see this Mudrick score a goal today. You know what I was there. So big I up mean, to Dunn, I, I man. Think it's our way, I think it's our way round, Don. I think Isaac wants to stay away from your club. Not that you're <laughs> not that to keep him away from my club. You lot need strikers. Like, who are you to say keep him away? You're Chelsea, you're finishing bottom yeah, again. Yeah, man. Beggars <laughs> can't be choosers, man. You know what I mean? Like Chelsea football club, mate. You know what I'm saying? But they're, they're trying to look at Osman, isn't it? You know what I mean? I'm 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 gonna pass Osman now, man. I used to be a big fan, but you know, it's priced like too much. Go big up. Like go big up your Fafanas and your Mudricks that are all playing well. Like keep with them lot, innit? That's your level. Yeah. But you know what it is, yeah? I, I feel like this idea, yeah, that Hoyland is our like our Volk, like our main number nine. I feel like people need to relax, you know, man, because he's still young here. Yeah? I don't think we should be putting him in that category of he's the new, he's the number nine, he's the main number nine. I feel like he's still got to develop, man. He's still got to learn from maybe a Tony, someone like that, that can come in and be the number nine for a couple of years. And then he comes in at what, tw- he's only 21. You know what I mean? Comes in at 22, 23, you know what I mean? And, and then develops. And then they both go out with, but I still think we're underestimating a, a, a number nine that everyone can rely on week in, week out. Because what we're going to say Tony. about Hoyland next summer is everyone's going to get on the back of him when he goes on a goal-scoring scrout and be like, oh, he's not ready, he's not ready. Well, he's not meant to be ready, is he? Let's be honest. So if you go and get Tony, you know he's going to bag you 20 goals a season. Easy. Bag you 20 goals a season. And with the chances, look what he's doing at Brentford with with people like, he's playing five, they're playing five at the back. I can't, Look at the midfielders that they have. Yeah, they goals in us. I'll take him Boyma at Man United. I think he's class. Like, I think he's a really good nah, player. Yeah, no, yeah, so, nah, I'm not with that. I'm not with that. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? He's better than all our right wingers. 
Beggars, that, I, I, that, you, just, saying, listen. you just said yourself, beggars can't be choosers, mate. We need goals. And Waymo's goals. And he's, he's more than somebody. He's, he's an actor right now, man. Yeah, he's not the he's not the sort of player that you're thinking about. He's not a he's a he's a second striker that likes to drift wide and likes to occupy space, man. He's, he's a different sort of player. He drifts around, man. He's not a, he's not a, he doesn't go on the right hand side. He doesn't stay Calm there. It. He Calm drifts in. He starts to do his thing. You get me? Decent player, but like I said to you, Decent. he's one of them where you know what I'm saying. So, oh. um, yeah, man, it's one of them. Listen, I'm just one of them where I'm like, yo. We need, we need it because, like I said, if you're prioritizing, if you're not prioritizing striking here, but you're prioritizing other places, then it's it's mad for you, man. Like the left back, for example, that one there is a priority. Luke Shaw out, yeah. Luke Shaw, bye bye, Ma salam, adios. I, I know I'd rather spend more money on the striker position than the left back position. I'm gonna be real. 100%, 100%. Wait, how, yeah, hundred percent. Left back should be an easy, easy one to go and grab. Who are we gonna get? Like, I don't think we should be spending more than thirty mil on the left back. Less, I'm gonna less be real. than that, twenty five. You, you get you get Gary O'Neill as assistant. You bring in Ain't Nori as well. Do you know what I mean that's what you're gonna do there? Yeah, yeah. I, I just I think left back, bro. I th obviously, left back could be a part of like striker. I'd rather spend like let's say forty mil on a striker and then like spend like 35, 40 mil on a left back. At least like with the striker, like we need a backup striker. Like oh, we need, we need one really bad. So it depends. It depends on how good these deals can be done for these defenders, isn't it? I don't think you really need to be spending more than thirty-five million, maybe forties on the centre backs. Let alone a left back should be half of that. We if we if we have as much that we have rumor to spend, then striker could really be the top top hitters, like the top hitter position that we can go and grab. But who says Tony wants to come to us when he's got other? Uh, other yeah, he's flirting with everyone. Else, to be fair, yeah. where's Listen, he gonna he's, go? He's about <laughs> huh? I don't know. Where's he, gonna go? he, he, like, he, he, he can say Real Madrid, but Real Madrid ain't going in for him, so he can kiss that dream. No, 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 yeah, no, no. That was cheek and tongue. If United come in for him, United are getting him. Oh, you know, yeah. simple. 100%. If United Listen, he's, him, he's, we're getting him. He's been playing next to uh, Kobe Manu. Do you know what I mean? He see well, not next to you, but just in front of him. Do you know what I mean? He's seen what he's about now. Do you know what I mean? He see he's he's, he's seeing the potential. He's seeing yeah, Ghana. See the comment. We, see the comment. He no, goes, no, go. At eighteen, I was probably playing on the Xbox while he's playing for England. Man knows, recognize yeah, real man, mm. real recognize real man. He yeah, exactly. crazy, can man. can, can I just say as well, if if we're not if we're not spending on on striker, it's absolute madness because we need goals. We're, we're at what negative goal difference or or neutral goal difference in in March. Do you know what I mean? You know yeah. we're not scoring goals. We need goals in this team. We need attackers. We need forward players. Do you know what I mean? We need we need to be putting that ball in the back of net. It's not like we don't get to the final third. We can get there. It's just nobody scoring right now. So we need someone like a Tony. We need forward players. Do you know what I mean? Even a wide player on the right hand side, someone like a Jared Bowen. Do you know what I mean? Who's a monster. Who scores goals. Issue, like you say we talk about getting to the final third, right? But the it's issue is that we're not getting our strikers enough shots in the final third. That's not an mm. issue that Ivan Tony solves, right? Ivan Tony, he could solve the issue of maybe a Marcus Rashford being less effective in the final third this season. Maybe he, he would get more goals out of Marcus Rashford, right? Because he's more of a link play striker. So in that aspect, mm -hmm. he would get help us get more goals. But in terms of the striker position scoring more goals, the issue is the wide guys or the midfielders not getting the striker the ball. Hoy, by the way. Hoyland in that in that run that he had where he scored a goal every game pretty much, right? He was still averaging the same amount of shots as he was when he wasn't scoring. It's just a matter of fact that the ball started going in the back of the net. Exactly. Before it wasn't. Yeah, it's only so demands the ball though. Do you know what I mean? He, he comes deeper, he picks up the ball deeper. Do you know what I mean? He, he interlinks, he, he plays mm -hmm. better than, than Hoyland. Hoyland still got to learn all this. Do you know what I mean? He's still got to understand his, how his role in the team is and he, he's got to demand the ball more. He's got to be screaming for the ball. And Tony, Tony isn't waiting for the ball to come from him. He, he's demanding it from his wide players. Mm. Well, then does yell at Garnacho pretty much every game, to be fair. Like he, start, he started Bro. to, yeah, but it wasn't for a big patch of the start of the season. I think it started to change at the Newport game that one time where he just went skits at him. Do you know what I mean? That's when it started to change. They're greedy, isn't think, it? Yeah. Mm. But, that's, but that's, that's something that, you know what I mean? Maybe Ivan told you that to demand from them. You need a new number 10, man. I'm, I'm, let's just... Let's just, let's just cool, want yeah, for inverts. I just Sorry, want to walk. Yeah, just, get, just, get, just get him out. Give me Morgan, give Spice or whoever it may be. I don't give a damn. Nah, he's he's dead, man. Man. We need ball carriers as well. Like it's all nice in that. We talk, you know, what it is this is why Cobby's so interesting yeah, as a player and what he is. Like, when it comes to mm. athleticism, I don't think he's really top notch. But when I think of averts, I don't think he's a mad athlete mm. either. That's why I say Morgan gives white as well. He's a ball you carrier. You don't need to be though, Cas, do you? Like, mm. I like Verts. Don't get me wrong, but Verts ain't coming here. 
Mm -hmm. I'm like, he's not coming here, but he's just a hundred million. You're times gonna go better. get Elise. Go get Sa as well. He's a hundred million. Go get both of them. Yeah, Sa Sa's a bad boy. Sa's a bad boy. Did you say Sa's a bad yeah, boy? Say. Morgan Gibbs White is not a bad boy as well. What? Nah, what? SA is different. To, but Morgan Gibbs White ain't got that. Ain't got that tech, uh, man. He ain't got that tech, man. Yeah. He's more of a runner, man. He's an en energy guy. Little, energy guy. The one bro. thing I'll say is, though, I think in terms of what United side are going to be, if we're going to talk about more ultra possession side, I think Eze would fit better as an attacking midfielder than Morgan Gibbs White. But if we're going to continue with this transitional route, I would say Morgan Gibbs White because he's a better ball carrier in open space. I yeah, he's, 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 uh, both he's aren't good guy. enough. To do. What? No, Eze is good. Both Both them are. Eze is good. I, I think Eze would easily start in this Man United team. I don't care what anybody says, man. This guy's a baller, man. You get I'm on my right man. man. I'm saying right center mid. I'm on left center mid. Kobe Manu. Get me my shin kicker in the six and let's roll. That's your midfield three. Let's get it. Mm. <laughs> it was something that you know people said. You know that that, that Ahmad would would turn. He probably is. That probably suits him anyway. That central role, man. Even a false I nine. Well, I, think well, I, 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 I watched. I watched watch Paqueta against England on Saturday. Mm. At right center mid, I was moved. This guy, he has it all as a midfielder. Mm. I, I understand why Pep wanted him now. We thank God the betting allegations hit allegedly for Paqueta because if He's Paqueta went to City this past summer, it would have been a wrap for the league. The, the, this would there wouldn't have been no three team title race if Paqueta was at City. Who's your, who's your lots left back? Uh, who, who's your top left back? Because I got one in mind that I just want out of all of them. I like Alvaro, but I don't think he's making it personally in it. Um, because if you're looking for a new search for a new fullback, a left back, mm. I don't think he makes it. But if you had to go buy like one, the Girona one, Gutierrez is good. Uh, I watched it more man. this season. Uh, my one's Anthony Rory. Robinson. Anthony Robinson's the my Anthony one. Anthony Robinson, underrated. We need, we need athleticism. Underrated. Hi, he's that. We like athleticism so much. Defensively, defensively he's more solid than Nate Norby. No, 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 I know he's rapid. Like, I think he's, I think he's quick. quick down the byline. He's quick yeah. down the byline. He's and also, rapid. it's technically it's unbelievable. The other problem is, though, would he work oh. in a back? Would he, would he work in a um, in a back four? Is he more of a wing back for me than a than a full back? But then again, you know, what I mean, he's, he's still young. He can merge into that. But Robinson is someone that I think you know what the right age as well. Twenty, oh. what seven? You know what I mean? Quick, strong, physical. You know, can get up and down. But technically, I don't think he's all there though. I'm not gonna lie yeah, to you. But he's nah. more of a powerhouse. You know what, what I mean? What, we, what, we need, what? Sorry? Excuse me? He's not technically all there? Yeah, no. no. I mean, it's seen for you, I say. Do you mean? Hey, Nuri's... Hey, Nuri, I, 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 I think I'm more of a runner. runner. I hear it, but... You get it? You know what I mean? Like, running power, from America, of running right here. Power. I know from America. I'm thinking of running yeah. power and stuff that we don't have. Hey, Nuri's cute and yeah, everything. Yeah, he does that. He gives you that. Yeah, Robinson gives you that. That's why I think we need a Robinson more than an A. Nuri, innit? It's cute keeping A. Nuri on the board. No, I'm not saying it's not technical. He's not as technical as Aiden Nori. That's what I'm trying to say. No, like, it not, doesn't levels. When it comes to athleticism, yeah. we lack that so much. And I'm saying, I'm not being funny. I think that's what the. I just think we need to consider profiles if if we're going to have this debate as well. Is but I don't know what this team? team's about anyway, man. Bro, this team, I don't know what it's <laughs> about, bro. What, lack, you tell me what this team's about. I'm you tell me what we're forming in this team. Colin Hoyland is our only athletic players, bar Rashford. And, not, and guess what? what? It only seems one of them's got a brain. One out of all of them. Let me know another one. We don't have it. That's why people scream for Anana. Anana. He's not even a DM. Yeah, no, Anana. I don't know, man. That's that's for that's for CK, man. If CK, you're in the chat, man. That's where you could. I'm not. I mean, really no one, no one's asking Anana to play Anana. lone DM. I don't think Anana can play like a lone DM, right? Like, I, if you play him as a lone six, it's not good. It's not looking good for you. But in the pivot with Kobe Mainu, that can absolutely work, bro. Oh, you I know what it's with me with Anana. You know what it's with me, Anana. Yeah. I feel like he's a power, he's a powerhouse, he's athletic. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. just like, yo, like, I just feel like under pressure, yeah, when he's got the ball, I just I find him a bit kind of like not Mid. clumsy, but just a Mid. bit like it Mid. doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it just doesn't, it's not aesthetically pleasing <laughs> on the like Mayno, elegant footballer. But then again, you do need opposites. What do they say about in things in life? Like uh, opposites opposite attract. attract, bro. There you go. Yeah, see, you possibly. Have... Yeah. Well, yeah, but, but I'm just not sure, man. Man. Manu's a really good uh, dual winner for his height and his age, right? Obviously, but I think Onana, bro, he is mad athletically. Like, he can win the ball back yeah, at a is. side tackle at any point. Why are, we like, rid of, why are we getting rid of McTominay just to sign another McTominay? No, 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 no. That's, that's a howler. That's a howler. That's a howler. That's a howler. Kaz, <laughs> yeah, that's a time out there. Time out, Kaz, man. <laughs> time out, Kaz, there. They both offer the same nah, thing. So once it's a little bit better. Maybe. Nah, bro. McTominay is not physical. McTominay has never been physical. He's thing. never, ever. 
Nah, I, bro. I'm I'm sorry, like, man. For me, like, I just don't see. It. I just don't see it. It's the same. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, in my opinion. I think one has got more room because he's a lot younger. Obviously, he's got a lot of room to grow. Nah. And probably, probably has more of a little bit of a brain. But this guy moving in, you know what? When I think of man, you know when I think about my club, yeah, and about players, and we talk about two, three years. I'm thinking about going to win a damn league, not a squad player being a first team player. I'm not saying the players we're going to bring in are going to be excellent, but in midfield, it starts from there. Banana, it doesn't start with banana. It doesn't. It's horrible. It's horrible, man. Wow. I see, it. I, I'm thinking. I just, I just, I'm from the era of like you say, like Ash, Mike's maybe. I don't know, but I don't. I can't remember how old you are, Mike's, To be fair, but I just like, I just, I just don't. I just think about competing with these top teams, and I just don't see it. Banana, Kobe as a pivot. That we gonna do anything? It's still. Hey man, we talk about you know the teams that compete. There's a certain team that's competing for the exactly. league right now that have Onana as one of their main summer targets at Arsenal. You know, it's it screens so, transition ball again, and I don't want to keep yeah. seeing transition ball. Like I've had enough. Mm. I'm seeing Jorginho ball out Declan Rice and Erdegaard, two weaklings. Oh, 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 it's 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 a, it's a, it's a tough one, isn't it? Because you, you look at Liverpool's midfield. Do you know what I mean that they're still a, a, able to do bits? Do you know what I mean? And and yeah, it's one of those. It, Alistair, who is the top technician in Liverpool? Endo ain't a top technician. Zobo's like ain't a top technician. Yeah. All he knows how to do is strike a ball a little bit pretty. That's all he knows how to do. That's it. I kind of, I kind of agree with him though, Griggs. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure he's the answer, but but it, it's one of those where he's better than what we've got right now and he, he provide more than what we've got right now, but is he the answer? I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't think so either. Do you know what I mean? Say it, say it, say it. Go grab me Pelinia for a cut price. Go grab Oof. him. Don't care. You won't. You won't. You just signed a deal. He signed a deal. Mm, it's not. Well, I, swear, I, I swear there's a wait, what? I swear he's meant to leave. Yo, big up, big up CK, by the way. CK sent me a comp here yeah, of um, Amadou Onana versus England. Cobby, yeah, he, 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 he had that shit ready. He had that shit ready. Yo, people, Pops. make sure you make sure you check it out. If you want to see Amadou Onana, you know what I'm saying? I'll retweet it now, man. So, big up, make sure you check it out. You know what I'm saying? Because he's put this is his guy. I would have played it, but obviously, we'll get copyrighted in it. But big up CK. But there's a little wow, comp there, man. No, comps can make anyone look good, man. Yeah, of course, of course. But still, though, he's you know, I mean, he's just showing he his just best quality. That, that, you he, know what I'm he just said that he just dropped to whatever he did against England, and then now we're doing up a comp of how good he is. Make it make sense, please. Nah, listen, I'm I'm one of them where I'm like, yo, I I, I can't really lie to you. Midfield market, it's not getting great, you know. I'll be honest with you guys, mm. the midfield market, I think it's actually not that great. If I'm being really honest with you, like well, the issue you know is, what, it's not that great. It's not great. Chelsea, Chelsea it's spent it's 200 million great. on sorry. It's, it's not good in the positions we need, right? Because one of the positions is yeah. the main new position, which we just saved 100 million on because we have a Kobe main, where right? we have this start. Kobe main, yes. Position for me, don't really, the best number six that you couldn't really sign, let's be real, was maybe a Declan Rice. He went to Arsenal. Obviously, he's going to be yes. for the rest of the year. So it's not looking good. Then you have the number 10, which we do need. So we can go, get, we can go adjust that position, right? No, no. A lot yeah, of I'm numbers. talking about city midfielders. Six, city yeah, the six. Yeah. The six is very, very hard to get, and that's why. Yeah. I'm, that's why we just see who the new manager nah, is. They got rants, man. Yeah. Hey, I mean, I, yeah. Most, I, most, most of the market is that. Definitely, league, league. I'm bringing back Dan Gore as his understudy. We're good. We're good. Bro, Dan Dan high, bro. If you're gonna go get, you're gonna go get Polina, why not go send Amadou Nana, who's better on the ball than Polina? Fairly. Yeah. And, he's a, and for me, he's a better athlete. I need a six nor an eight. Better athlete. But then again, this Paulinho runs around like a madman. It's a six door. Don't forget, it's a pivot. Because Kobe, Kobe mm. for me, Kobe Mano is best in the pivot. I don't. I. I. I generally think Kobe Mano is you. You play in a pivot. So let mm. me hear what CK's got to say. He says, "Guy wants someone who can progress out the first phase, but wants Paulinho, who's one of the worst team midfielders on the floor." Who said you need that? Like, last time I checked, Luka Modric used to go deep and do the first phase. You don't need the DM to do first phase anymore. Do you see Endo doing first phase? No, it's exactly. kind of. You don't need so we have Kobe doing that. So, so let's get it. Let's get, get it. Me here. Like, what, we're gonna end up like Chelsea. Don't know. get me this brother here. Hey, this we're brother gonna like Chelsea. No experience. People don't want to run out and all this kind of stuff. No experience, and no one to set the levels. Because guess what? Your kids, if not your twenty-four year old, that won nothing. Well, but, yet, you know. but yet you want a young baller, next best thing, right? The thing that Saeed was just complaining about. Make it make sense. Saying, well, what yeah. has Paulinho won though? It's not like Paulinho's won anything in football, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah. Well, I swear he won a league at least. Uh, okay, you well, won the Portuguese, league. let's go get Grimaldo. He won the Portuguese, league. anyways, man. He's, he's got experience. Nah, listen, I'll take Grimaldo. Hey, listen, oh, uh, you're, you're no way you're far for the three back high, too, bro. Go, yo, put Grimaldo in a four back. It's not looking good for him, man. It's not looking good. It's not looking good, it's not looking good for him. Wow, you lot are disingenuous, man. 
Nah, that's he's crazy. Nice. That's he's cold, crazy. But he's, he's cold, though. Don't get it twisted. Grimaldo's nice, but yeah, he yeah, can't yeah. pull a four back. It's just not his thing. He wasn't at Sporting. He was at Sporting. Where was he at then? Where was Paulini at before he went, um, before he came to Fulham? Where was he's he at? He's at Sporting. Yeah, he's at Sporting. Yeah, he's at Sporting, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old yeah. yeah. So. You know, you know we I mean? need to find oh. the next Nemanja Matic, man. Matic would have been the perfect oh, six-man, bro. Man. But we yeah, can't. We, right. there's, where's Didi we, Matic? You know what it is here? Bring me that midfield of Paul Pogba and the Herrera yeah, and Matic. That was our best yeah. midfield, yeah, That's since terrible. Alex Ferguson. Nobody's talking about it's that. It's because yeah. Pogba kept getting injured, though, and he kept ruining it. Nah, but Paul Pogba, the man in match, and the Herrera. Bring me that midfield, man. Old, we man. So we, no, 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 no. We don't need an old Matic. I want, I want the Matic at Chelsea. For me, that's the perfect six in terms of the modern day. Kind he's of just tired. defensively he's solid. Tired. But he's even Leon. He's him Leon. He's still doing bits at Leon. You know, he's he's doing yeah, things at Leon uh, now. Right now, in the Premier League. Put him in. Go, go put him in Ten Hag system. He's gonna retire within thirty seconds. Oh, Matic. The, yeah. Oh, the, thing, the thing is, he he done it in a in a what's it called with Kante? Don't you remember? He done it in a two. It was it was balling out, man. Yeah, Once. yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying to you. Now you know what's mad, yeah. Like that 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 time there, we did. Let's say to you, man. I, we should have got Casemiro earlier with Paul Pogba. We should have got so many players here yeah, earlier, man. And we could have got the best. Even Matic, we should have got him earlier. You know what I'm saying to you. Had we got him earlier, we got the best out of him. So many players have come to the football club. Should have got yeah, them earlier. Say that one name right there. Coop Miners is one that I want in the summer. That's one oh, Dutch guy I would take. That's one guy. You know he's you know got goals. There we go. Midfield takes free kicks, take corners, and he's a goal scorer. And he's he's athletic. He's enough. He's, he's got enough athleticism. His pace is a bit shocking. You see what he but... said to Atalanta. You see what he said to Atalanta. He said, "I'm leaving this year." He said yeah, something yeah, about, right. "You know, I'm leaving." He's been, he's been more of a number ten lately. Yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of him and put Matt Vipers in, anyways. Atalanta are good at recruitment. Matt Vipers, I don't think his athleticism is good enough for the Premier League. I think it'll be too slow for it. But Coop Miners, I would have him at a good age as well, twenty six, I believe. Uh, that's why I was, ta- actually, I was yeah. talking. Actually, you no, know, Danny Devils. I was talking to him about it yesterday. I'm, yeah, I would have him, hundred percent. It's a good choice. Yeah, you know what's mad? Yeah, there was another name as well. Someone made I forgot that other name. Um. I don't know the name. Was, was Neves that? would be sick with us, but he's there. Say Zubimendi. Zubimendi. Yeah, Zubimendi. Yeah, 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 I like him at Sochi. Like, yeah. Even McCann. I've watched him a couple of times this season. I don't see the hype, man. I, I re- I've watched him a he's couple of times. You know, I watched La Liga. Oh, I don't see the hype, you know, man. Zubimendi. He's pretty. He's all. You know what I mean? But I don't see the hype. But I've watched you know, him a couple of times. He's a safe passer. You know what I mean? Go on. Sorry. Go on. Doesn't cover enough ground for me. Yeah, this is the issue. If we, when, 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 let's do it move on from Casemiro, right? United need to make sure they get a superior. They need a top athlete. Yeah, they need to be good on the ball, but they need a top athlete that can win duels not only on the ground. Hey, but areas. me, who hype? Let's go. Because Bro. Casemiro, when you lose Casemiro, hey. you honestly lose your best aerial threat, right, in the midfield and stuff like that. You can't replace that, so you yeah. cannot be getting Zuba Mendy, who as good as good as he is. If you put Zuba Mendy and Maynard next to each other, who's gonna win the second ball in the midfield in terms of aerial lead? You ain't gonna win it. So against the likes of Brentford, yeah. for example, they're going to kick along and whoever's in the midfield is going to knock it down to Mbomo and they're, they're going to be through on goal. So mm. you do need a couple mm. athletes. Like that's, why I said, um, that's why I said Amadou Nana is in terms of that. Dewsbury Hall is nice. Though, you'd rather get Dewsbury Hall more than Nana. Dewsbury Hall, man. Listen, I've been, I've been raving about this guy, man. Since 2021, man. I think he's, I think he's quality, hey. man. But again, <laughs> listen, <laughs> I don't want to turn into no... Old... <laughs> hey? Brexit means Brexit. They want all these Brexit players. Bro, out. that's what I'm saying. I don't want to turn into that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be that team that just, you know what I mean? Like, but you know what it is with me? With him, yeah, Leicester could be um, deducted points next season. I think they are deducted points next season. Yeah. So really? they're going to be in a bit of a financial situation there. So they could be in a situation where they could sell him. But again, man, you got to look be, like past that, man. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, let's be real, man. You need to look past that, you know? If this and I would take Ross Barkley at United, but United fans think we're, we're below Ross Barkley, but it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? Cross Barkley is a baller. I would happily take him. Eric's a replacement. Man, Chaps is talking to me about homegrown this quarter and stuff like that. That's why I have to keep McTominay. I'm like, go sign Ross Barkley. There's your homegrown quarter. Oh, you know what? We might as well get there. You, go. you know what? We might as well go get Deli Ali as well. Why not? Redemption arc. <laughs> uh, let's not go that far. Yeah. He said he likes his time at Luton. Let him stay at Luton. Yeah, no, he, he, he's had his chance to shine at a big team and he failed Bro, that, didn't he? Do you know what I mean? Barkley is a baller. Forget this age 31, man. He's a baller, man. He's not that guy that's lost his legs. 
He's a cultured footballer, man. You know what I'm saying to a guy that just needs to run around to do a lot. You know what I'm saying to there's certain bowlers, yeah. Any tight situation, any little sort of space there, they could do the job, and that's what he is. Yeah. So I say Ross we should have got Ward Browse. Do you know what I mean? Oh, uh, excuse me. Same thing. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> no, it's not really the same. Nah, no, nah, it's not really the same. But I'm just saying, if you want to go around the quota of the. English quarter, whatever you want to talk about here, and you want to go around it, and you need to get free signings. Him, and guess who the other one is as well? Tosin Adebayo. Do you know that, brother? From I Fulham? Think, I think that's happening. Good centre-back. Like, Tosin like Adebayo. Free in the I'll summer. Take, I'll take him on a free Free in the summer. Tosin Adebayo. If you want to save money, if you get two centre-backs, one is free, one with Tosin Adebayo. I think for me, that can work as well. Good on the ball. Man came to Old Trafford and just... Played us out of the park, mate. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, squad player, of course. But like I said, with a view to, you know what I mean, becoming the main one if he wants to. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Tossing Calvin Adebayo. Ford. Simple. Calvin and Branthwaite. But then Branthwaite, he'll cost a lot of money. He'll cost a lot of money, Branthwaite. That's the only be problem. Worth it, trust me. It'll be worth it, trust me. What? You know what I'm saying? So, um, Branthwaite. Kimmich is on the move. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that, no, guy's no, right no, back, no. that guy's a right back. He needs to give it up with the defensive midfield thing. This guy thinks he's a DM in 2024. You're a right back. You just locked up Mbappe. Stick over there, man. Stick over there. Yeah, you're not a DM. he locked up Mbappe. Not a DM. Like... He's I not mean... a DM. Said, obviously, he wants to be a lamb, isn't he? he wants to be lamb so badly, isn't it? You know how lamb <laughs> yeah, 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 he's yeah, yeah. Like DM and that. He wants to be yeah, lamb. Go back, man. Right you know what I mean? go back to right back. Take time with it, man. They got Freddie says Piero Hincape from uh, mm -hmm. Leverkusen. I play centre back, left back. Listen, I'd rather get tap sober, man. Tap sober for me is better. You know what I'm saying? So he's I don't a, know, man. Antonio yeah. Silver at Benfica. He's the man. Yeah, he's the if you're gonna make if you're gonna make moves, but I need someone that's kind of good at defending wide areas like in the in, in Premier League. That's you need you need centre backs that can do that. Jared I mean, I, wow. Antonio Silver, I think he's gonna oh, run free. Stop it. He's got he's wearing flippers. Do you know what I mean? He's huge. He, he's gonna stiff he's gonna stiffen up like Maguire, like Maguire was when he was younger. Do you know what I mean? No, 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 no. He, like he's he's respect, I'm Jared telling you, do you know what I mean? <laughs> listen, listen you come back, Jared come back to this in five years' time. That guy, that, that guy's getting so much hype this now. Is, and what's he gonna cost? 75, 80 million for, for British. Do you know what I mean? Is he, he's Louis Dunk? No, he's not. We saw Louis, Louis Dunk, Dunk today get dunked on by Roman Lukaku. Exactly. Is it, is it, yeah. Listen, he's stiffening up. He's getting solid. Friend. Do you know what I mean? He's not. He's nice, young. He's, he's agile. He's nimble now because he's young. Do you know what I mean? As he starts to get old, as his ligaments start to stiffen, as he get, as he starts to get a little bit more rigid, he's, Bro, he's, he's like, gonna be. He's gonna slow up. What when he's in six, six years? Yeah, and, he, uh, and he's gonna uh, exactly. And like Maguire was when he was twenty-two. You, you know, you talk about uh, uh, him being one of the, one of the premier defenders. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's madness. No, he, 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 the players no, just get clunky. He was like, you know, he was like a whole city in Sheffield United back then. No one was saying that about him. They, they, mm. He was, he was coming through at the time, uh, uh, and a lot of managers were, were looking at him as someone coming through. I mean, even even Guardiola was looking at Maguire, and, and uh, do you know what I mean? We, we and we pick him up because we because we think he looks half decent on the ball, and he can he can play, and he, he looks like he's got a bit of a bit a little bit of pace. And you see you see the reality of it when they put into a big team. The, the, those players, they just they're not it. You, you know what, you, know you look at Man United. You know Silva is the same height and weight as Branthway, right? Say again. They're the same height uh, and weight as the same height and weight as Branthway. So why wouldn't he have the same? Branthway can play both his feet. He can play multiple. You can see he's more agile. You can see he is not more agile. Than, he is not more agile than Branthway at all. Antonio Silva is a stiff ass. Oh, he's, 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 okay, yeah, but we need a right footer, not a left footer. That's the thing. Is like it's don't get me wrong. Martinez needs competition there, yeah, and he's not. He knows if he's going to be available, but. For that sort of money, is he going to be I'm going to be real. United, if, if Rackley really wants to revamp the center back room and not have to worry about it for the next 10 years, you go slash you go splash 100 mil on Brantweight and Euro, and there's your center back partnership for the next decade, and you don't have to worry about it. You know it. what? Let me ask you a question here. Because I had a situation ball. conversation with Rance here, Ooh. and he was like, yo, like, Lissandra Martinez here, along the lines of, yo, we got to get someone in there that's basically the main guys in it. And Lissandro, with his injury record, because he missed a lot of games here last season. But are people saying that we rely on Lissandro Martinez as our main centre-back? Or does he come in? Eh? Is that we, can't, say, we can't. We can't. We can't oh, rely on him, can we? He's, pr he's proven that we, that we can't rely on him as our main centre-back. Oh, Do you know what I mean? It's been unfortunate. But that's but... what I'm saying. So go get Branford then. Uh, Why would I think about 
Oh. He might lose his spot. Broski, like, that's what happens in football, man. Yeah, Maybe it's true. Listen, go, go get me gay, get yeah. a gay over Bramford. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, well, not, I'm not paying that kind of money for, for, for Bramford. It's, wait, it's mad money. Did Levi Colwell sign a new contract or not? Levi Colwell hype, man. Broski, come on, man. Yo, you, you, you. You've been playing left-back all season. Realistic. We play left back all season. Yeah, He's but we talk about we, we talk about having to defend the wide channels. Cole can defend wide channels. He struggles at that. That's his weakness. I mean, I mean, coming off the center back way, it's a bit different than when you're just placed as left back. I mean, not... no, but he's stiff. Cole is actually like stiff. He's just not a good athlete. Like he's okay. He's he's a he's, yeah, he's not a good athlete. He's technically proficient. All right, listen, that. Lee gonna Lee gonna relax. Man said it's average. It's not average. He's bang it's, average. It's... I'm with you, Lee. Do you know what I mean, yeah, he's yeah, bang I average. Where's the flavor of the month, right? He's got a lot. I seen him live. I seen him live from the south stand. Do you know what I mean? I see his flipper feet. He's wearing a size 16 feet. Do you know what I mean? He's got no control on the ball. It's huh? madness. You seen what? them feet? Go I... look at his feet. Next time you watch him play, go watch his feet, man. They're fucking oh, huge. I, I ain't into feet, man. I ain't into feet, yo. Listen, shout out to everyone, bro. <laughs> bro, man. I'm not, I'm I'm not, I didn't look at him like that, you know. Has he got big feet and that? Is that what people are saying? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, don't Me, I just know, I just know he's a tall guy. That's all I know. He's a tall guy. That's all I, that's pretty much all you could tell in terms of the physical attributes and terms of that. But he's quick, he's good on the ball. He can play left back, central, he can play left back, left center back, and right center back. All three that's versatility. Bro, and he's just a top athlete. That's what you need. You need guys that can defend the wide channels in 2024. Gabriel Magalhaes is not a top guy on the ball, a center back. Yeah, he's been one of the best center backs in the Premier League this year. Why? Because his defending Bro. of the wide channels and all that is absolutely top-notch quality. So that's what you need. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, 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 that's fair, you know. I'm taking brand weight all day long, man. Hopefully they get hopefully they get more deductive points. I hope Evan gets flipping. Mm. Oh, I hope they get hit. Yeah, Ponce is decent. Console, what, happens console. Console. Yeah, yeah, console. what happens if Brentford gets relegated? They're close to the drop zone. Nah, they won't get relegated. The now that Nottingham Forest got deducted points. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I mean, where are Everton now? Let me see the Premier League. It's, I think they're, they'll have enough. They're right there. Yeah, but they might yeah. be getting hit another one, innit? Nah, nah, I think they've calm. They're 16th. They're now four points ahead of, um, of uh, Nottingham Forest with a game in hand as well. Mm. So I don't see how Brentford are only four, five points off Forest. It ain't, it ain't the, within the yeah. possibility. I like Marillo as well from Nottingham Forest. That might be a good pickup. Yeah, he's, he's a good player. Mm. Menji. Nah, listen, man. Menji, we've we done him dirty, man. Gay, he slept on. He's injury prone, man. Can't be dealing with that, man. Man's injured all the time, man. Can't be asked that. You mean you but just said, said, you, 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 you just said you just said we messed up on Mengi. He was getting injured all the time. Why would you want him back? No, I'm not saying that we messed up on it, but I'm just like, yo, man. I mean, like, just kind of like, yo, they're doing well in it. You know what I'm saying? To you? So yeah. it's one of them. And also, they go to United, injuries, injuries, go to Luton. I don't know if he's been injured once this season. You know what I mean? So our medical department is mad. But you know what? I wanted to talk on Elise because apparently Jim Ratcliffe is still very, very on Elise. You know what I mean? He wants him. Mandem, Elise, what are we saying, man? Yeah, is it worth it with the injuries? I can't lie, yeah. His injuries, they're one of them where they're proper hamstring injuries, man. They don't they don't mess about ones two, three weeks you come back. These are two months, man. You know what I mean, bro? Like I what's, feel for the guy, but at the same time, what's he gonna oh, cost? Gonna be, I think it won't cost you that much, you know. I think it costs you about 60 50, million, 60, 65 50, million. 50, 60. 50, 60. It won't cost you that much. I think his, I think his release goes like 55, 60. So. We, had, we, had to, can I just, we had to pay 50 million to Crystal Palace for uh, one Bissaka after one season, do you know what I mean? In a Prem, so, you know what I mean? They're, 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 their main guy up top, you know, we might be having to pay yeah. some big money for him. They can't want to sign him back. They're gonna, they, might sign, they're actually might, they actually might sign him in the summer. Crystal Palace. Mm -hmm. Could do some kind of deal there, but you never see, you never yeah, see sort of deals, do you? Mm -hmm. He's been linked with them. I know, I know, like the reporters mm. talked about it. I think yeah, Rob Dawson right. in January talked about, like, maybe I don't know, grab him. Did, it, did they not just get the new right back? Did they not just sign one? No, I don't mm. think so. This is injuries, right? So, it's not bad. A hamstring, look at it, it's two hamstrings. He gets one that was days. 35 days, and then that's now 53 days. Though, it's like He's not a Pedro Neto, right? Where he's like super athletic, where it, like Neto's hamstrings, oh. like the fact that Neto has this many hamstring injuries already it means that he's cooked, unfortunately. Because he was my number one target. I wanted Neto. Like with Elise, I like Elise. I think 60 mil is a fair price for him. It's just wingers like that for me don't make that Man United, personally. 
like as good as Elise is, I think for me, like just if United want to continue with this transition way, I like Olise. I think he's a good ball carrier. He's a good dribbler. He's very creative. But them kind of wingers we've seen at United. All the, all the managers we mentioned, right, that linked to Man United, none of them are other than this Southgate is a transition manager. Are you trying not to go on the front foot? I'm trying to see Ahmad in the 10, not Bruno. It's, I, but it depends. But transition, but it's not transition, but it's just about United are always going to be in terms of they need to have quick counterattacks. That's the heritage. That's the, that's the heritage he, of the club. Have no you matter, seen him use a bomb from bomb? But he's not slow, you know. People don't think he's slow. He's not right, slow. He's not, slow. He's not like special slow, for example, yeah, but he's also not like, he's not rapid. Like he's not he does slow up the game, though, doesn't he? he, do, like he when he does gets does on the ball, he slows up the game. Can you blame him? Edward up front. No, that's not, that's not just Edward. That's just the type of winger that he is. Well, those kind of wingers he's not, hey, this the game. He's everything we need in it right now. We need a sort of wide... We thought, oh. He's basically what we thought Jaden Sancho was going to be for us, but on the right-hand side, but obviously that's not, that wasn't no, they said it's dreams, but Bowen, man. Do you know what I mean? He's going to get your goals. He's got the amount of goals that a man's going to get. You, you, we try and work something out with McTominay. You get Tominy involved. I say, like I said, we, we don't do... You get Wamba Saka involved. you got to do something there. That that, that guy there is... Give them a guy McTominay. Do you know what I mean? You're like, yeah. I like Bowen. I think he's mad underrated. Mm. I think he's mad underrated. Mm. He's 20. You're not having Jared Bowen? What I like it, but from a but I might like a lot of things from a distance, man. You know what I'm saying to you, and not get it. You know what I mean? I might do window shopping one day. I'd be like, Yo, I, I like that, but I I don't need it right now. You know what I'm saying to you? And that is something too. They, they, yeah, man. Cheap. Ain't gonna that's be cheap, crazy. man. So that's why I'm just like, mm. yo, Cole, let's let's. You know what I mean? It's it's one of them where you know what I mean we got we got to just we got to be serious, man. This summer ain't no mess around, man. Manager, players. Ain't no mess around this season, bro. We've got to be ruthless and we also got to be calculated as well how we move. I don't want to be doing signing no players that by four or five games in, you know what I mean? You just know that it ain't going to work in it. You feel me? Like, you can see it's not right part of the system and then it just kind of filters around. I mean, we need players, man. So simple as that, man. But listen, we're going to wrap it up here, man. What a show, people, man. What a show. Um, make sure you look like the video, man. Um, it's been, we had, we had like 900 at one point. I'm going to check the likes right now. We're currently on 405. Let's get up to 500 likes if you can, people. That would be amazing. Tomorrow, Mandem Talk, we've got a special guest tomorrow. If you can guess it in the comments, uh, then you're good. If not, then you'll find out tomorrow because um, it's going to be a crack of a show. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you're there. Um, Ash, love to you for coming on, man, as usual, man. Big up. Good chat, yeah. man. Great vibes. No, no, I appreciate it as always, Cass, Griggs. Appreciate appreciate the chat and 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 chat as well, boys. Go check out uh, Ash Mepper's YouTube. Said we hit 200k with the uh, vlog, so that that wasn't too bad. Oh, hey, vlog. Up, yeah, yeah. So we got on man. that. So, so so go watch that, boys. Absolute mad scenes from that one. If if you've not already, and and, and yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do this again. Yeah, man. Big up, man. Big up, Griggs. Big up, man. You know what I'm saying to you. I thought I was gonna see some match reaction from. Uh, from your, um, yeah. from your, you know, the Greece well, situation. First thing I did was almost, I tried to almost rip my Greek shirt, my Greek shirt out because I got mad. But no, nah, I'll make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Michael underscore Greeks 26. I think I'm at like almost 2.1K over there. And then YouTube. Come on, people. I think YouTube, but uh, obviously make sure you go watch the watch along. Um, And obviously United match reaction. So like that. So did, uh, I know Saeed redirected it to me on Saturday under 21 tier list. Uh, That was Come on, on. It. Kobe Maynard was, of course, on there. We had, I did that video just because of him. I'm not going to lie. But I'm at about almost 470 subs, so we're closing in on the 500 mark. So make sure you guys go subscribe. Come on, Greg's talks. Greg's talks. Make sure you do that, people, man. And Kaz, big up as always, man. Never a foul, man. What are you saying? Big up, man. Big up. I'm, I'm all yeah, good. man. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm having, I think I'm having an allergic reaction to something. Keep rubbing my <laughs> hand. To what? I think <laughs> Ash, Ash is Ash, some of Ash's takes, man. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, man. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, go wash your listen, face. Big up to... Yeah. <laughs> big up to everyone locked in, man. Yeah, man. Big up Z Goldman. Big up to everyone. Lee Gunner was in the chat. Rants. Big up Freddie. Big up everyone who's super chatted, donated as well. You get me? It's all love, man. I'll see you tomorrow on the Mandem Talk. And like I said, man, make sure you're there because it could be fireworks. We're out. Oh.